Hey guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notification, ignore the fact that I am like kind of sweaty right now, but some of it is sweat, some of it is not, and I'll explain. For today's video, I decided I'm going to do a story time because something really, really, really exciting happened today for me, and it's something that put me in tears, because, and that's saying a lot, because, um, and actually what I mean by some of it is sweat, and some of it isn't, is the part that isn't sweat, and, and, and a mixture of tears, and water, because I washed my face, because I, like, did a little bit of makeup, and, I don't really think you can see it, but there is some body glitter on me still. Um, and, yeah, so, ignore that. Um, but, today I met XO Me Pop through Zoom, and unfortunately I was not able to actually talk to them until the very end. Oh, you can kind of... There were no white giant. I don't like piece of glitter. Or but until the very end and that was when like everyone was like saying bye and stuff so um but I'm really happy with how things turned out because something I have physically dreamed of well multiple things. One is being noted by XO and Hip Hop and two getting to dance for XO and Hip Hop and three just in general, like, getting to, like, meet EXO and T-POP or something, even through them. Um, and for EXO and T-POP, getting them to follow me on Instagram and all of that. So, pretty much what happened was, uh, I was getting ready, like, I had just logged on. I logged on like an hour early and I'm like, oh, like I wasn't sure if I was going to like change into my XOG pop shirt because it kind of is starting to get destroyed because I like, I went through a phase but when I first got it, I would wear it so much and I would wear it for a long period of time, like that sounds correct. But, like, I would, I, like, wear it so much, pretty much. And, like, I would wear it, like, all day and, or, and continuously wear it until finally one day and my parents would tell me, like, I, you have to go and change and so we can wash that. And then you can wear it when it's done in the washer and dryer. When it's all dry and clean, then you can, like, put it back on if you want so, like, I, like, wore it so much that it physically it kind of destroyed. And I ended up deciding I'm just going to wear it. So, it's in the washing machine right now because it got sweaty. So, like, anyways, anyways, I, like, put it on and I'm like, oh, wait, I should put a JoJo bow. So, I put a bow bow Siwa bow. Because that seems cute. And I like this one bow that I have. So I put that in my hair. It looks good. And then I'm like, oh wait. A XO Me Pop is like glitter and that whole thing. Thing. I'm gonna like do makeup. Like a little bit of like a glittery like makeup look. That's fun. And yeah, so. I pulled out my petite and pretty makeup, and then I'm like, okay, I started with the eye. Well, I started with a little bit of glitter because I have, like, a cloud glitter thingy, and I just did a little bit of glitter, and then I did, then I'm like, okay, now I'm going to do the blush. So I did, like, something glow like, petite and pretty, like, kind of sparkly blush. So I, like, did that, and then I'm like, okay, on to the eyes. So I did, like, a very light blue, and then a little bit of purple, and it's, like, 
both of them are super sparkly and pretty, and it kind of just looks really good together. And then I'm like, great, now I'm going to top it off with some more glitter, a different kind of body glitter. And I did a little, I like put four dots, like, up in like the beginning of my hair, like in this part. And I like kind of ran it through my hair just for some sparkle. And I put it some on my face. And I'm like, okay, now we look. We look glittery and fun. Great. So. Anyways. Anyways, I'm like, that's great. That's amazing. And, and it looks really, really good. Because I'm really happy with it then. And I'm like, okay. So. Oh, I did that, and then it came together very well, and very nicely. And then I was instantly, I'm like, telling myself, like, so I finished, I put away all the makeup, I and my petite and pretty mirror, because I did pull that out, so I could actually do the makeup, put it all away. And then I'm telling myself, like, I got a while still, and I'm like, Telling myself, like, you are about to meet XO and Pop, like, on Zoom. That's incredible. Like, I was just getting myself really excited. And, like, it was just, like, a lot of fun. And then, when it actually started, well, no, before it even started, like, I want to say we were getting around, it might have been the 15, like, I don't know. We were getting, like, super close to time when and for those who don't know it was a free dance class with guy grew on zoom and xo pop with the special guest coming and so i'm like really really excited and then all of a sudden i'm like telling myself i'm like i'm not about to cry i am not about to cry I'm, because i'm like I was prepared in case that was the case because I did a cry at Dream Tour with happiness and I like didn't know that was going to happen and then instantly, instantly like pretty much we were getting close to time and then I'm like I felt it coming on and I'm like nope you are wearing any makeup you are wearing a pretty good amount of makeup um, that looks good and sparkly and fun. And, and, no, you are not about to ruin it with some tears. Well, that didn't happen. So, <laughs> luckily, you couldn't really notice that it, uh, it didn't really look any different. But, yeah, there were some tears. And then, and I, like, kind of got them to, like, stop up for a, like, minute or so. And then it was actually time. And then, and, and then, all of a sudden, they, like, I, all of a sudden, as soon as I actually saw them on, because the camera was off before, I'm like, they just came again. And then, yeah, like, it was a thing. And then, and, like, I um, they were picking names and stuff of people that like they saw on there and like just like randomly like talking about like people that they saw on there and like letting picking a few people to just like unmute and stuff. Well all of a sudden like I think it was Tiny T. Actually no. Um Tiny T said it and also every single one of them. So they kept saying, like, I, I see Wally. And I'm like, just slowly, and I'm just very slowly, like, I'm not even being able to move. Like, I'm physically, like, did that just happen? Like, I didn't, I couldn't wrap my head around it. It was one of the where I didn't know what my reaction was. Because it was like, 
I didn't see it coming. It was interesting. And then, I'm like, okay. And, and then they announced that we're doing, and they announced the song. Um, we're doing the next OG Pop song, Merry Go Round. Love that song. Um, if I had to choose between it and, and Candy Hearts, I would choose it over Candy Hearts. But they do have another song, Secret Handshake. The music video has not came out yet. And it's bothering me that it's not out yet because I listen to music and on YouTube. I don't listen to music on like Spotify, Apple, own music, something like on their streaming like platform. I listen to it on YouTube. I don't have other platforms, and so, like that, and I have heard, like, a sneak peek of the song, um, or, like, a little bit of the song because it's on TikTok, but I haven't heard the full song yet to Secret Handshake, but what I have heard, I really enjoy, so, yeah, uh, so, anyways. And Candy Hearts and Mary Karen are the only two that I, like, actually, like, have heard the full song. I'm great. Mm -hmm. okay. Give me one sec. Okay. Hang glitter. Or that was bothering me. Because it was starting to go in my eye. So, I got it. And, and then... And so, like, I, I didn't know. Oh, I was just really, really excited and in shock that was actually happening. And then, and, like, we started going. And then, like, we finished, pretty much finished. And then we were doing groups, like, different groups. And, like, the entire time I was, like, jumping up and down, like, like going crazy, like, I, with that excitement, and then we were doing groups, and I, like, really wanted to get picked, because I'm, like, I dreamed of dancing for XO and K-pop, and right before we did groups, they separated and did a group of four, and then a group of three, and, and we got to, like, watch them dance, which was really fun, fun, because it was, like, a mini, like, it was like a mini Zoom XO and pop concert type thing, but with two groups, one group of three and one group of four, and it was just fun. And but they weren't singing like they were, had the music playing and stuff. But it was really fun still. And then they started doing groups, and unfortunately, at first I was not picked. But then, and I was starting to think in my head, I'm probably not going to get picked. And, and that's okay, because I just, this little bit of stuff is already, like, it's had me in tears already. Like, I'm, I, and that's a win as it is. And also, oh, I'm very grateful because of the fact that uh, I have done a lot this year, and my parents have paid for a lot, and luckily this was free, and so, like, it was uh, still really fun, and then, and they were picking one group, and then, and next thing you know, they picked me, and then I'm, like, really, really excited, and, and then, then what happened was then, and I, like, wanted to, like, unmute and, like, say something to them because I don't worry. I mean, like, I had to, like, I, like, pretty much had an idea. I was just going to, like, kind of say something to them. Unfortunately, I was not able to say I am going to comment it on their Instagram. So, yeah. But anyways. Anyway, like. I, I got to dance for them, and that was something amazing because I, I had dreamed of dancing for XOMD Pop 
and to actually do it, even though it was in a group with like eight other people. It it was still amazing. It was still EXO indie pop amazing. And yeah, that sounded cooler in my head, and then it came out like. And as I was saying it, I'm like, I'm just going to go with it, even if it doesn't sound that great or not. If it did, then great. If it didn't, oh well. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. And then, and, and that was kind of it until the very end, where we all like got to unmute and say goodbye. Unfortunately, I was not able to unmute and like actually ask them a question or anything. But, yeah. Mm. But it was a lot of fun. And if you're wondering why I'm not in dance with Abby right now, to, because I said I had it today, well, I was wrong. It's tomorrow. And I assumed it was going to be today because usually it's on, usually it's, it's on Saturday. But on the thing it says Sunday, so, and we haven't gotten an email for it with a link, so, unfortunately it will be my last one for this for a while, and it's bothering me because they haven't posted the thing for the next for a while. They posted the thing for this year's ALPC boot camp, and... I am going to find out from my parents if I can do that. If they might want to wait until they post for worldwide so I can see if I even need to ask my parents to do that on Zoom. Last year it was a lot of fun and a lot of people were complaining because the Zoom people didn't really get that much. Like... We didn't really get to do the Q&A, and no one really paid attention to us. But honestly, for me, I enjoyed it because, um, and I think people complained because at one point when they were doing, like, audition for, like, scholarships or something, which the Zoom people did not get involved with or we weren't able to. And, and, like, two people, like, kind of stood in front of us. But, honestly, for me, I had fun. I had a lot of fun because, in my opinion, it's not about that. Uh, it's not about, what like, having a teacher drive you. It's about being, if you're really a good dancer, you should be able to um, correct yourself. Meaning... You shouldn't have to have a teacher say, straighten that leg. You should be able to be like, oh, my leg isn't straight. I should straighten my leg. Like, you should be able to correct yourself. That's what I do all the time. Um, if I'm, like, doing something and my face is boring and I need to give it something, do something with it, I fix it. I don't wait until the teacher corrects me on it. I don't want the teacher to have to take time out of their day to correct me on something that I can easily fix without them have to tell me to fix it. So, like, overall, overall, like, it was a lot of fun for me. I really enjoyed it. Not everyone did, but also I consider the fact that Yes, we did pay, like, the Zoom people paid, but the in-person people paid way more. Because, um, and last year, I feel like, I, the only thing that I would say was last year, I did, and kind of get disappointed with something, kind of, because last, well, I mean, was last year, where I, like, kind of set myself up for disappointment, where I'm, like, I, I, like, asked my parents if I, if we could, like, actual, in fairness, let me explain the full story. Last year, I thought we were going on a trip, and, and that we would, 
would essentially like be able to like go in person and then apparently only this was part my fault part my parents and so it was part of so I asked if we can go in person and like when we go on the trip because it's like we're going on a trip around that time like it worked we weren't going to Pittsburgh Pennsylvania or the LA studio but like I, I thought, like, oh, um, maybe you can, like, make a pit stop or something. But then I set myself up for disappointment there. And there because it, my dad explained it to me. And it was part of their fault because they didn't tell me that the trip was canceled. I didn't mind that the trip was canceled because of the fact that, like, I would rather be dancing than go on a trip. Like, I'm the type where I would rather be in my room at home dancing on Zoom with ALDC teachers and guy group um, and a bunch of famous people versus go on a family trip. Because in the end, the family trip going to be fun, but it's not going to do anything to make me a pop star. Or versus being in dance class, it's going to be fun, and it's going to help me become a pop star. So, yeah. So, in the end, it's way better. So, anyways, anyways, I had asked my parents, and they're like, no. Um, because it's like a really expensive trip, over a thousand dollars. And there's also like, there's, it just wasn't going to work. And so, I set myself up for disappointment. But honestly, by the end of it, I was, was happy. And they agreed that I could do it on Zoom. And by the end of it, I was really happy. And that worked out. So, even though I was disappointed for a moment. And, like, really disappointed for a few minutes. And it's... It was kind of fine. It worked out in the end. And also in the end, I have to look at how many people I have met. And, and it's crazy to say that today, like literally today, I met XOMG Pop through Zoom. Even though I didn't get to like talk to them and stuff, that's still insane. And the fact that I got to dance for them, that's insane. And really cool. I'm going to say peace out. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. And I have dance tomorrow, which, um, yeah, I'm excited for. So I'm going to say peace out.